All right, welcome back to LearnWire. So we are going to continue the AI niche website build case study. And this I believe is video eight or video nine. And what we're going to be doing in this video is updating our homepage. We've got some content on the site now. So things are starting to roll. We're starting to get some indexed pages as well. If we come over here and we look at site newbiegardening.com, we can see that we have six results. One of them is in fact the uncategorized, which we I have since gotten rid of this right here. I, pro I could also have a hard stop on this. So the TXT robots won't come and crawl that uncategorized page because we're not gonna use the uncategorized page. I actually got rid of that. I can show you kind of how you do that. But we do have some more content indexing. We have our first big like kind of articles or pages that are that are indexed right here. So we'll start doing some more stuff to build this out. But when we look at the site, this is what it looks like right now. And we need to go and update this so we can do a bunch of different things. One, if you're wondering how to get rid of the category pay, like your any kind of category, but the uncategorized, we're going to come over here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come into the settings and uh, go into reading, I believe or it's under writing and you wanna change the default post category. It's going to automatically be uncategorized, but it's very important. You need to select one of your other categories that you've created and then just push save changes. <laughs> then what you would do is you come up to posts categories up here. And once you do that, you'll come over here and you'll actually see uncategorized over here. And all you have to do is at that point, then you can push the delete button. If you don't go and do that first step I just showed you, you won't be able to delete it because it's the only category category and it's the default category. You can't delete the default category if that makes sense, right? So that's how I updated that. But what we're gonna do now is when we go and look at the home page, we are already in, we're logged in right now. So I can come up here and actually go to customize or edit site. I'm gonna click on the edit site button and we are using the popcorn theme. And so if you're just joining us, I've created a series here and I believe that this is actually video nine. So there's eight other videos that you can go and watch and there is a playlist as well. So we are in the middle of actually designing a website and creating the website using only AI tools and using only AI content. So when we come in here, what we can do is you can actually just click. I like that you can just kind of click on where you want, what you want to update. And then once we click on this, you'll see it's, this is kind of like the hero image, if you will. We can just come over here and click the replace button. Super, super easy. But before we do that, let's go and maybe create We'll go into mid journey and let's just do something like right in front of you. We'll go and we'll just do something like slash imagine space. And then we'll do, you know, I think that the aspect ratio that I've been creating has worked pretty well. So I'm for now, I'm just going to stick with that. So we're going to actually do dash dash AR space 16 by nine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say blog banner ultra realistic. I might do something like 4k and then do something like gardening. No, we're going to go the most, the most beautiful garden in the world. Something like that. So as you can see, I wrote over here, you can see the prompt, the most beautiful garden in the world, bright sunshine on the top two beautiful flowers and fruits in the garden, a couple garden tools laying on the ground, something like that. I'm just going to push enter. And this is going to go out and start creating for us. While it's doing that, we can actually come back and say something like your new site with popcorn. We can come and make adjustments right here. Something like learn all the basics of gardening, just something like that to get us going. Obviously there is a thing of popcorn right here. I'm just going to get rid of that these buttons right over here. So we have the see the blog. So we'll probably want to click on see the blog. And then we're going to want to go over here to literally type in blog so that people can actually go over and look at all the categories and so forth. And when people type that in, they'll get the latest posts. That is actually the blog page. So we'll just go ahead and leave that in right there. And we can change the colors. You can always click on the button right over here. And then you can go over to the right hand side and you can change the color of the button right over here just by selecting the background and selecting 
and you'll see that the button color will change. I'm actually gonna leave that for now. And then this read more, maybe we want to maybe select just one of our articles maybe getting started. So maybe the getting started guide right here would be appropriate to put right there. So you can just see how easy it is to change out the links. And down here, I was trying to decide what I wanna do with the buyer's guides. I know we want a section of buyer's guides, so I'm gonna probably leave that there. But then these other two, we need to decide what we wanna do with them, right? We can get rid of them, but I do think that the having these default boxes and stuff over here are just really nice because you can lead people to these four main points right over here on the website, right? Let's go back and see if our images are done right up here. And here is our blog banner. We'll go over here and you can see that there's just some really, really cool stuff. We got the wheelbarrow. This is just really, really good, good stuff. Like how do you, I mean, I don't know if that's the most beautiful garden of all time, but it's probably between the second and the third one for me. And I think I'm just gonna go with this this third one right here. So what we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll just select the upscale number three right there. And then what we'll do is I found that clicking web right here actually doesn't work for me. <clears throat> I end up getting errors or whatever. I can't download the image as, an Im as a <clears throat> JPEG or PNG, but I do when I click on this and then I open in a browser, it seems to work better for me. So then from here, you just right click yeah, just right click. That wheelbarrow actually looks kind of funny, but I don't think anyone would think anything of it or notice. So I'm gonna just go ahead and leave it. We're gonna right click and we are going to save the image as, and then I'm just gonna say something like, I'm just gonna say gardening for beginners because that is ultimately probably what the number one term that we would wanna rank for if we could ever rank for it. And then what we'll do, we'll go back over to the site and then we'll click over here again and then we will click the replace button. We'll go upload new image, and then we will upload that new image to the site, and it automatically uploads, right? And so you have this masking on here already. You can make adjustments to that if you want to. You can also go take the image into Canva or Photoshop and make adjustments as well. But for now, I like this, I believe, and I think I'm just going to stick with that, with what we have. But again, you can come over here to the right hand side under styles and you can change the opacity and make it darker or lighter so if we wanted to make it lighter we can go like that maybe we will instead of it being a 50 maybe we will change it to a 20 i'm thinking a 25 so we'll just say 25 and push enter i think it can all for whatever reason all right so we'll stick at 30 that looks fine to me and so we've changed that out. We've changed the header out, write a catchy intro here. What is our site? That's what I wanna do. This is a great opportunity. We already have our, if I go into settings and general, we have a tagline, I believe. Yes, we do, from newbie to right there. So we're gonna take that, we'll come back over and we will see if we can replace this real quick. So we just replace that and that's totally fine and we can just go and push save to make sure we save our changes. So the site's already looking pretty nice. And then you'll just work our way down right here. There's global settings that you can do in order to impact the buttons. You can change the, all the colors out at once. Let's see if I can figure out how to do that. So click on the button. I think we go over to here to styles and then colors. And then this is where you have your background, your text, your links, headings, and buttons. So we can come over here and I believe you can change them out right here like this. If we wanna go with like the green or maybe this color right here. All right, change that and then hit a save and a refresh. Okay, perfect. So I've stepped away and just kind of getting to know the theme a little bit more. So as you can see, I made some changes to the homepage. I'll go over what I did, but popcorn theme, you've got to kind of learn the way it works. It's going to work a little bit different than some of the others, but I would say it's probably fair to say that most WordPress themes like generate press, Astra theme, the different, when you start adding Elementor on to any WordPress theme, you're going to have somewhat of a learning curve and you're going to, they're all gonna kind of have a, their differences about them, right? And so once you start learning how to use them, it is pretty easy. 
So you can, you have a couple different ways. The way that I like to do it is just to point and click, but you can also find everything you need under the menu up over here. So we can get rid of that. We can also even leave the list view and just look at this, but you can always come up here to the three list view area section and you can pull out the list view and get to where you want. And when you hover over this, it's going to be kind of like an inspect mode where it'll hover over where you're currently at. And then you actually make your changes over here on the right. So you just kind of work from left to right. But what I like to do is just point and click to what I want. So like this button I wanted to change, I just you just literally click on the button and we're working on just the home page right now, right? So then you would come back over, over here and then you have styles and I'm gonna click styles and you can see I just changed the background right here, okay? So you're gonna just want to know if you're looking at dealing with a link, a title, a button and so forth, right? So like right over here, I changed this text to black. I believe that this was like a red text or something like that. So then this is actually just text that's written in here. There's no link involved really easy, right? So we went ahead and filled this out. I put gardening tool tip guide, gardening tool guide, gardening resources, what to plant as a newbie. I'm going to create content for these right there. So there's some more content that I'm going to be creating. And then we will link on these again, you just left click right here and then you would go and assign the article or page that you want to link to it. Super easy. It's actually one of the easiest home page, home page editing for a theme that I've come across. I really like that you just kind of point and click and it's pretty intuitive. So when we came down here, I'm not really sure the featured post right there, latest posts right here. I'm not sure how to add more posts over here, but there's a featured posts. We will be looking at adding in some featured posts right there as well. But as we scroll down, you'll see that I changed the color on these right here as well. And this is actually not text, it's actually a link. And so I had a little bit of a, you know, I was just trying to figure out how to do this. But when you click on this and then you go over to styles, you'll see that this is black. So it's actually, I changed the color, the color over here. You can change it to anything you want. It's not gonna do anything right here because this is a link and so we have to go in and click on the link and this is where you'd be able to change it see and then it'll for that one for that whole box right there it'll change all the links in there which is really nice so we want to go back and we can change that back to just black and then right over here you can even click in this little box read more and this is actually go back to styles this is actually a link so we could change the color to anything we want right there as well I think I'm just going to leave it. No, I do want to highlight it as something, but I'm thinking that that's either green or we'll go with the, I'll, we'll stick with the like yellow gold color right there. And then it changes it for all in the box, right? And so then we have these links or the text over here. So you always just click on it and you can see if it's text link or background. So this was text and we went ahead and filled out the aff affiliate disclaimer, exploring our site and so forth. So we have these links over here. I want to change the color of these. So I'm going to left click right there and just go back over to style really easy. And then we can go over and these are links. So I'm going to change the link color to let's go green on that. I think that looks good. And then again, you can come over here and just click on this right over here and go to link and change these ones to probably black. And then now you're starting to really look good. Change this, the copyright over here, super easy. Just add in the year and so forth, right? So really, really good stuff. And you could easily come in here and this is where you'll change your privacy and website terms and so forth. So right here you can actually go and we actually have a privacy cookie privacy and a privacy policy. So I just changed that to the actual privacy policy right here. And then we have over here, what do we have? I'm gonna see privacy or no, we had a terms. So we had a terms of use. I'm gonna go like that. And then I'm also going to, it said website terms, terms of use. I'm just gonna go ahead and write that. And then I don't know if we had a disclaimer or if we had anything else, but this is how easy it is. We did not have a disclaimer. We did, we did have a DMCA. We'll go ahead and just throw that one in right there. And then you can add in any more that you have right there as well. They could put in the cookie notice as well. I think we might have the, did we have another one that is a cookie notice? So you just come over here and we would just do a space bar and put in our symbol. And then we would say maybe cookie notice. I don't know if we have actually have that, but I'm going to go over here and I'm going to write cookie. And we do have a cookie privacy policy right here. So we can just click on that. Boom. So we have that whole footer on the homepage set up and the colors and everything looks good. Now I need to find out how we're going to add some, maybe some featured posts if we want to add right here. 
Okay, perfect. So then we come over here and it looks like I'm, I might have figured it out. So we just left click on featured post section. And then once we kind of hover over here, you're going to see this add block. So we're going to actually add block, push that button right there. And then we're going to go featured. So post featured image. No, we want to go post. And we have a latest post archives. We have a post list. And then choose a pattern for the query loop, start blank or choose. And we have all these different options right here that are actually really cool that we can look at. So I'm gonna go and maybe grab something like this maybe. And let's just see what that's gonna look like right over here. And then of course we're going to want to come in here and select the style and these are links. So I want to go with a, like a green or we could even go with that yellow color right there. Not really sure which one I like. Let's go with the green for now. And then we can push a save right here, save. And then we'll come back over here and let's look at what the site looks like now. So this is how you kind of edit the homepage. As you can see, it's really, really easy. I mean, there's stuff on here that I don't even know what I'm doing and this is what it looks like. So that's how you can add in some different posts right there. I don't know if I like the way that that looks, but it is, op it is an option. You can do some really cool stuff. I think we can move down the, we can shrink down the, the margin on, from left to right. And we might be able to do that by coming back in here and left clicking on the box. And I'm not sure if we can shrink this down like so. That's really just looking at the mobile view and so forth. So, all right, I'm gonna go left click on here, go to styles. We have size, maybe size will do this for us right there. Yeah, size does do something. I'm gonna go back to default. We have our block spacing right here and we have our border as well. So like right here, there we go. That's kind of what I wanted to do was shrink down the border and see what that looks like. And we're going to save and we're going to come back in and take a look again at what that looks like. Adjusted the margin. So it doesn't, it, it looks kind of cooler, I think. So we can come in here, people can click on that. So that's what some really cool things you can do. I'm probably going to take that part off. I just wanted to show you that that's what you can do. And then you can see we have all the link colors. The footer is updated with all of our legal pages. Just read our blog. That's one last part that I need to go and fix. So we can just go back over here. Really, really simple stuff. Just come back in. And like I said, we can click this. We can remove this right there. So as you can see inside here, you can add rows inside here, like you're editing a blog post and you can literally add them in right here. So if we wanted to put some featured posts right here. You could, but we already have kind of our featured articles and so forth up here. We have four and then we have all these up here at the top as well. So I just really want the latest posts right here to show. So I'm actually going to come up here and just say, remove, remove that heading right there. And we have our latest post. We also want no results found right here and remove that as well. And then we come down here to the read our blog. So we can click on that. We can again, go back to style and we can change the background color to maybe a green and then read our blog. We can click right here, highlight that and we can actually make it a link right here. And we will just type in blog and just click the blog button right there and go up and save everything. Everything's looking good. Come back over here and push refresh one last time. We got rid of that. And here's what the site's going to rest at for the time being. We've got all of our main pillar pages right up here. We've got our blog right here with the major five major categories. We've got our header fixed, the image, the hero images the set. See the blog, we can open that up and it's gonna take us to the blog page. I do need to go to the blog page and add more content to make sure all the categories are here and then what we would do right there is I'll show you how to fix that in a sec. So I think the color coordination is good. We've got the logo. So we're going with the green and the orange color. So we're using green, orange, and black and so forth, right? There is a way you can also add more images, right? Or more than six of the latest posts right here. You just go in and edit the amount of posts that are being shown. And there you go. All right. So thanks for joining me in this. This is where we're at with here. The site is indexing. We've got our homepage looking really nice, sharp, crisp, and clean. We've got all of our pillar posts created. We still have some guides right here that I need to create. And we're going to be blasting this with a bunch of content from Koala and Agility Writer and then Zim Writer and so forth. So you may want to make sure that you like, subscribe, make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out on the next niche case niche site case study update video. All right, so I will see you in the next video. Thanks.